38 Special Plus P versus 9mm Plus P in short barreled handguns. And today what I have is Underwood Heavy Ammunition. I tested this stuff in the past, both of these in the 4 inch barrels. They both did really, really well. And today I'm going to test them both in the short barrels because I have not tested either of these in a short barreled handgun yet. 38 Special Plus P is a 158 grain with a high tech coated as a lead semi wad cutter hollow point. Rated at 1160 feet per second. In the 4 inch barrel, I got 1113 feet per second or 435 foot pounds energy. Really, really good performance. Now, with this 9mm past, I used the 4 inch barrel, got 1104 feet per second, 398 foot pounds energy, which is really, really powerful for a 147 grain out of a 4 inch barrel. Now, the reason why I'm testing this, this is going to be something that I see quite a bit here. That 38 Special in 4-inch barrels was more powerful than that 9mm. However, there was a little bit more barrel travel in a 4-inch revolver versus a 4-inch pistol. But these two have the exact amount of barrel travel, bullet nose to muzzle, 2.1 inches here. So this will be really interesting. And I think what we're going to see is that the 38 Special is actually going to have quite a significant drop in velocity, as were the 9mm, probably not so much. So while the 38 Special was more powerful, and the past in four inch barrels would probably be less powerful in this particular test. However, all that being said, this was moving a little bit too fast, even at 1113 feet per second because it fragments, fragmented a little bit. So we're gonna go through the chronograph, see what kind of velocity and accuracy we're gonna get at the same time. And as always, we're gonna go through the juggernaut box, which contains a one and three quarter inch pack of bologna, kind of simulates flush, covered by four layers of denim, followed by one quarter inch medium density fiberboard. That kind of simulates like ribs or sternum. And how this compares to ballistics gel is after going through the bologna pack, back of jug three is about nine inches, back of jug two about 12, back of jug three 15, back of jug four 18 inches and so forth. So we're going to see what we get in these short barrel handguns, see how they compare to the 4-inch barrel test. So let's get started with the test. All right, first up is the 9mm Plus P. It is rated at 1125 feet per second, and I got 1104 feet per second in the 4-inch barrel. So pretty good to rated velocity out of the 4-inch barrel. Let's see how close we can get to the 1104 feet per second in the 3-inch barrel. Ten eighty one. 1065. No read. 1062. 1084. I'll run one more to get a five shot average. 1068. So really good velocity compared to something else of this nature. I just tested the Winchester Ranger. I think we were getting about an even thousand feet per second. So quite a bit of a jump. And that was a 147 grain. Now let's try the 38 Special and see how that compares to the 9 millimeter. All right, 38 Special rated at 1160 was getting 1113 in the 4 inch barrel. So I expect quite a drop with the snub nose. 946, 1034, 1031, 1036, 994. So a couple of them had a pretty significant jump in velocity down, but the ones that were really high were really high. This is a very powerful round. This is definitely in the average 9mm 4-inch barrel standard pressure range. But a little bit more felt recoil. Let's hit the ballistic box and see how these compare to each other. All right, first up, we have the 9mm plus P. We'll see how this does. 9. All right, that's first jug has a lot of damage. The baloney pack has a lot of damage, a lot of splash butt, but the recoil felt very light compared to that 38 Special, so let's see what we got. All right, through the baloney pack here, here's the exit through the fiberboard. I always like to show that because it kind of shows whether we got some sort of expansion or tumbling before it hits this after going through the baloney pack. A little bit oblong, that kind of usually indicates either tumbling or uneven expansion. Through the baloney pack, Pretty average for a 9mm. 
Um, but what we're seeing is the water jug's taking on more damage. And we typically see that with a little bit heavier bullet. It's kind of expanding a little bit slower. So let's see what we got in water jugs. All right, jug one, absolutely destroyed. This whole thing is ripped out in several locations. The cap is gone. That usually indicates that's where a lot of this energy is dumping. So we're definitely gonna get good penetration here. Um, very large entrance hole and very large exit hole. So that appears to have expansion. Jug three, we have a hole out the back of jug three even see some pieces of fiber board in here. The impact on four is leaking. Five is leaking. The bullet is in four. We damaged jug five. That's going to indicate about 19 inches of penetration, somewhere in that range. So let's see what we got. And yeah, this lines up with that hole pretty good on that fiber board. Oblong. Kind of expanded one way, but not the other way. Looks like it tumbled. But still pretty good performance overall. Now let's see how that 38 Special compares. All right, 38 Special plus P. We'll see how comparable this is to that nine millimeter. Baloney has a lot more damage. The first water jug has a lot more damage. I have a lot more water on me. That's some impressive impact. That's kind of one of those things that we, we see sometimes I talk about a lot is that the hollow cavities on 38 Special are almost always larger than 9mm because we don't have to feed ammunition. That usually provides more damage with less energy. Let's see what we got. So through the baloney pack, we have a lot of damage here. More than the 9mm. <laughs> An interesting thing is I see the fiber board in jug one and that's something it blew the entire back of that fiber board off. It had two layers of duct tape on there and the exit hole is massive to the fiber board. So we definitely already had expansion in the baloney pack. <laughs> that's about a three quarter inch hole. Um, so let's see what we got in water jugs. All right, first jug, a little bit different in the way it damaged it than the 9mm, but still a lot of damage. Jug 2, we actually cracked the entire jug on the side. Really large entrance and exit holes. It's like a chunk out of the back of jug 2, like a wad cutter would, a semi-wad cutter. Very significant impact on 3. Bullet is in 3. It's going to indicate 15 inches comparison to ballistic shell. And there is fiber board in jug three, and what I have left is most of the bullet. Some of it actually fragmented off a little bit, but still really large expansion. Has a gas check on the back of this bullet. So comparing these two, it's very interesting because we have a little bit more muzzle energy with the nine millimeter, but the 38 special, I would say, caused more damage. And this is something that we see all the time because of those hollow cavities. We need a little bit less energy to cause the same damage with 38 Special versus 9mm. So I would say overall this is a really good round. The 9mm is a good round too. It just didn't expand really well. I'd say between the two of these, I think the 38 did a little bit better, but it had a lot more recoil. So 38 Special versus 9mm in short barrel handguns with the Underwood ammunition and heavy for caliber. That's what you get. So as always, comment, share, and like, and thanks for watching. One more test on these rounds. I'm gonna do a wood penetration test. We have three, two and a half by one and a half, so I believe they are. Four and a half inches thick. Let's see how the nine millimeter compares to that 38 special. We'll see how far back it knocks this with momentum. See so what kind of penetration we get. All right, let's try the 38. 38 Special Underwood. Ooh, that thing has a lot of flash. Let's see what we got. All right, this is interesting. Here's the 9mm. Here's the 38. Back of board 1 and into board 2. I actually see pieces of lead with the 38. And I can see the base of the bullet right there. Probably won't be able to get it out. We can see that gas check in there. 
Now moving on to board to the boards with the uh, nine millimeter here. Here's two, and I can see an exit out too. <laughs> Oh, a very deep impact on, on three here. And it looks like there's a knot on the back and I can see the bullet kind of in there. Maybe not. It just looks like a hole. It looks like it passed throughout the side here. So we can definitely call that the nine millimeter has a lot more penetration on wood because it looks like we went through two and a half here and exited out the side after hitting that knot. So good chance if I had four boards, it would stop in four. This 38 just stopped in the second board. So that's going to be a probably a little bit better home defense option or a concealed carry option when you don't want too much over penetration but still a lot of power. So that's what you get with the wood penetration part of the test.